What, what can you tell me about this man? He's a beautiful human being. Well, I mean, he's if, gorgeous. Look at him. I know. I mean, if he wasn't married. <laughs> <laughs> we at the moment what is this right now area? this is i mean the break out there is bowls and rock piles um i don't know if this is considered like the rock piles bowls harbor but yeah the all the all the runs into the canal over there and then comes out to bowls and all the moana bowls yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, okay correct is yeah this is where i grew up over here and kaisers and rock piles Oh, you know, when you're younger, you want, you know, when you're starting out, you're definitely on the inside, you know, trying to dodge the uncles and not be in their way and just be respectful and, you know, try to catch whatever you can on the inside and then you work your way up. <laughs> some making comments. Uncle making comments. <laughs> Brother Blue. <laughs> He's known each other for long? Yeah, yeah, kind of. yeah so long enough to not drop in on him. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, a... Even though I'm just a boogie boarder. Hey, you're a human being as yeah. well, you know? Come on. Thanks, you're, a be you're a beautiful human. <laughs> what is it? There, we go. there you go. There you go. Yeah. What does the ocean mean to you? The ocean means everything to me. It's, um, yeah, my safe place, my happy place. I'm always here every morning, you know, whether it's like, you know, two feet, eight feet. Uh, I'm out here, you know, like, you know. Yeah, just I, I I need it. Ocean therapy every morning, definitely. Yeah, you know. makes you a better person. Definitely, it doesn't make me grumpy. The Dean Song model. Yep. Vector. Little skegs on there, vector fins. And, nice. Yeah. So if you want to get a sick model, get the DS. Bro. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. This guy's nickname is known as Triple D. Should I see his DS? <laughs> I told him the logo should have been three little D's, like D D D, but that's all right. <laughs> Dean Song. Yes. Lovely to meet you, Steve Lovely Shooter. to meet you too. We nestled in this little shop of yours. Uh, I can't stop looking around. It's a real <laughs> feast for the eyes. Right on. <laughs> and um, so what would you describe your shop as? Um, it's mainly a curated gift shop specializing in small design goods. Mm -hmm. um, try to bring in stuff from around the world. But right now we have a lot of products um, from Japan. And um, yeah, just the quality and craftsmanship of like Japanese products is like for me, it's uh, kind of hard to beat. So, uh, well, so I started bodyboarding when I was 13. Well, I still body. Do you, do you still bodyboard? <laughs> yeah, I still bodyboard. You still boogie board. <laughs> I still boogie board, yeah. But I do surf a lot too. But yeah, That's my main cool. thing is bodyboarding, especially when the waves are a little bigger. Nice. So, like, yeah, bodyboarding. Like, I'm frothing every day and like I'm jones into being in the water every day. Like, yeah. <laughs> I do it mainly for exercise too. Okay. It's definitely a good workout, you know. You get okay. two, three hours in every morning, yeah. It's like yeah, it keeps you in shape. When you had finished school, mm -hmm. what did you what was like your career part? So I've probably been bodyboarding so like since like I said, like when I was like 13, 14 and I'm forty five now, so probably about thirty years, but there was like maybe like a five year break that I took and I was DJing a lot. So that kind of took over my life Ooh, and nice. I became a night owl. So I wasn't in the sun at all. And I was very pale and <laughs> very ghostly, <laughs> like, very ghostly looking. And that's what I was playing. A lot of deep house, a lot of drum and bass, a lot okay. of electronics. I think I probably had maybe like about 10,000 records 
Wow. Yeah, and I probably still maybe have. I I donated a ton of like drum and bass records, and um, I probably still have like maybe a couple thousand records upstairs, and a, and a good selection down here too. And w when did you decide to sort of move into what what you do like, here, the retail space? And um, when when I started DJing, I wanted to um, learn more about audio and producing and stuff. So I went to school for audio engineering in Hollywood. And so after I did that, I wanted to come back home to uh, open up a music studio to help out like, you know, up and coming uh, artists from Hawaii. Um, and doing that, I kind of like got a little burnt out, you know, like you listen to like a song for, like maybe a hundred times and I, I kind of just figured out, okay, maybe this is not for me, you know, even though I went to school for it. I've uh, done a lot of stuff for uh, video games too, when I moved back. Oh, right. As in uh, sound bots or? Uh, making music actually for video games. So I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Dance Dance Revolution. No. I, I, kind of a popular oh, game back then. Um, so I have multiple songs for like a bunch of the Dance Dance Revolutions. Um, I did a song with my friend Travis. Uh, we went under the name Morgan's Corner. <laughs> and then I also uh, um, did the voiceovers for the game too with my friend Travis. I helped out June with a few commercials for information. And then a lot of like uh, hip hop artists down here, local hip hop artists. Yeah, it was fun. Cool. Yeah. Any like hiccups along the way in your in your career? Um, just having consistent business, I guess, you know, with like a studio, it's like never consistent, you know, it's like you get a job here, you get a job there, you know. And so because of that, I kind of just turned and uh, doing, a, I just ended up doing a mobile sound for weddings. So I did that for maybe like 10 years and um, that was way more consistent than doing studio stuff. And so no drama in your life? No drama. No, no nothing. No, I try to avoid that. <laughs> I try to stay away from that. <laughs> I'm just low key, try to be behind the scenes and yeah. What does the ocean mean to you? To me, it means everything. Like that, the ocean is like my happy place, you know? It's where I go every morning, just forget about things, you know? Any kind of problems that I have in my life. So what's on the cards for you? What's have you got any plans? Not, not really anything big, but maybe producing more products. Um, I want to start bag design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of always been my thing too. So I do also board. have a board coming out, my own model. Yeah. Now you bring this up. Yeah. Specific? Is it got a specific color? Uh, the colors I pick, I always like black. <laughs> so the board's black. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And in terms of its design, is mm -hmm. did you have a say in in it's, the actual? Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's actually the board I've been writing for years too.
<laughs> DJ, <laughs> Deep House, video game composer, music composer, and, and voiceover, and a boogie boarder, and a boogie boarder. Oh.